Hello everybody and welcome to my new workspace. In today's video I'm going to unbox and do a quick demonstration of this two auto metal melting furnace. If you're interested, stick around. I'd like to thank Two Auto for sending me this furnace to review. If after you watch this video you're interested in finding your own or buying your own, I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you buy through my link, I do get a small commission for that. Inside the package, there are a couple of, uh, here's a warranty card, a small manual, and it looks like a quick start guide. This is the burner. It's a graphite mold, I believe. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice, uh, nice sized um, ingot mold here. Here's the lid. Comes with some nice thick gloves. Here's a propane regulator. It's an actual regulator, up to 30 psi. Here is the furnace itself. I believe inside we'll find the crucible nicely packaged because these are a little fragile. They can be. It's made out of graphite. Inside is a small fire brick that you set the crucible on. The furnace itself is lined with ceramic wool. So maybe not the best material to be breathing when you're working and uh, I would recommend wearing some type of a dust mask or respirator while you're using it. Finally you do get a pair of tongs which looks like they've actually been hand forged um, out of rebar nonetheless so that's kinda cool guess it's a quick way to make tongs but uh, they're nice and loose and I guess they would be used for reaching in and pulling out your crucible. It's a little windy outside so I think I'm going to take this to my garage shop and set it up and give it a quick little test run. Okay, I'm in the part of the garage that's not covered with sawdust and wood shavings so we can hopefully avoid having a fire. I do have a fire extinguisher right off camera over here. What I'm going to do is just go through the quick start guide um, put everything together. I've got a brand new uh, propane bottle right here and we're gonna try to melt some uh, brass. Where is it? Right there. I got some uh, some spent uh, bullet casings that I'm gonna try to melt down. So we'll see how it goes. I'm making sure that the nozzle is perfectly centered so it shoots down the middle of the burner because if it shoots off to the side it won't produce a hot enough flame or it'll be turbulent and it just won't give you a stable temperature.
Well, as you can see, the furnace did a great job. It did exactly what it was designed to do. Um, it was very easy to get started, get running. It quickly got up to temperature. The burner did a great job. I basically ran it wide open and then I controlled the temperature using the regulator. Um, the ingot turned out great, especially considering I didn't preheat the mold, which is something you're supposed to do, but I didn't do it. But the ingot came out just great. Um, had a little copper dropout on the bottom here, um, but for the most part, um, for the testing purposes that I used it for, it worked out great. The gloves are nice and thick. They protected me from the heat. I didn't feel like um, I was in danger of uh, getting too hot when I was handling the crucible or, um, or doing anything around the furnace. The tongs are, are very useful, and um, I think that they... Um, are a good addition to the set and they make it so you don't need to um, have to buy anything else. You can buy this set and you can get to melting metal and casting ingots um, without having to buy anything else. All you have to do is provide your own metal for melting. A couple of safety items of note is first of all always have a fire extinguisher handy. I don't know if you can see my video I was also wearing a leather apron and leather boots if I were even more prepared, I'd have a face shield and I would be wearing a respirator because brass does contain zinc and it can off-gas that zinc and if you breathe in too much of that zinc, you can, get a, you can get zinc sickness or zinc poisoning, which sounds a lot worse than it is, but it's still it's not a walk in the park. As far as these tongs go, they are coated with something and if I had to guess, I would say it is also zinc, so you may be... Um, well served to burn off whatever coating is on these guys before you use them. Another good reason to use respiratory protection while you're using uh, this type of furnace is that it uses the ceramic wool uh, for insulation and those fibers are can be harsh especially when they're blowing out because as you're combusting the gas it's making pressure go out through the top hole here and those tiny fibers, they're microscopic, but they can get into the air. And if you breathe them in, they can cause irritation. And over the long term, it could potentially cause cancer as well. I've let this cool for a couple of hours, but it's still pretty hot. So I'm just going to pull out the crucible so you can see what it looks like after being used once. So here's the crucible. Um, there's a whole bunch of slag on the inside. That was whatever was left over. This brass was dirty. I'd left the spent primers inside them, which are made out of steel, so everything that's left inside this crucible is some oxides and a, a bunch of those steel primers. But um, this crucible is pretty heavy duty. I think it'll uh, be able to be used dozens, if not hundreds of times before you'll have to replace it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and demonstration of the 2Auto Metal Melting Furnace. If you are interested in picking up one of your own, I will leave a link down in the description below. It is an Amazon link. I am an affiliate and I receive a small commission for every purchase that's made through my link. Once again, I'd like to thank 2Auto Tool for sharing this demonstration model with me. It's always nice to do a demonstration video on a product that just does what they say it's going to do. And that's what this furnace does. Is it? it is a 6 kilo propane melting furnace and it's designed to melt metal and that's exactly what it does. My name is Tom, this is Southpaw Workshop. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.